Hi guys, welcome back, Maya from Simply Bloom. Excited for today's video, I'm always excited, so that's not new. But long story short, my husband and I, we both talked and we both agreed that because it's so late in the season, I live in a zone three, we only have maybe six weeks left of the season before our first frost. We both agreed that since it's so late in the season, we were gonna stay away from annuals and focus on perennials. My kids are out here too, so if you hear talking, it's just them. So we stopped at a greenhouse the other day and you're kind of looking at perennials and we just happened to walk through the annual greenhouse because why not? And they had a sale, buy one, get one free. And I just kept saying, oh, that's so pretty. It's so beautiful considering it's so late in the season. These annuals look fabulous. Um, but I kept saying, nope, nope, just perennials because we don't, we wanted to put our money in something that we'll enjoy from year to year and not just like into annuals since it's this late in the season where we maybe have six weeks before our first frost. So we bought a few perennials and we came home and that was that. Well, the next day my husband went back and he pretty much all the annuals that I said I wanted or that I love so much, he got for me. He paid attention so well. <laughs> so lucky so he got me a bunch of annuals at buy one get one free and I'm gonna pot them up today and just kind of clean off my deck so all summer long we just put all of our plants on our front deck <laughs> and there was a point where it was like pretty much covered the full deck with plants but it's just the end of season there's dirt all over it there's just random empty pots all over the deck so I'm gonna clean off the deck plan up the annuals and give you a tour, but kind of let me show you a before picture or a before shot first. Okay, so this is kind of what we're dealing with. I have two whiskey barrels there and there, and you can see there's empty pots and shelves and empty buckets. Um, there's dirt on the ground. There's a kitchen rug. There's our life vests from boating that we put out to dry out. Um, but these, these are all the annuals. I am so excited, so excited to pot these up. And you guys look it. There's a little frog. So what I'm planning on doing is I'm gonna move the table. Well, move the flowers first, move the table, do a sweeping, put some pots there. Um, and plant the annuals up into those pots and just kind of pick up just a little bit. Oh, there's our fountain. It's not plugged in. I should probably plug that in. So I'm going to do a little house cleaning, plant some stuff up, and then I will give you a tour and walk through of all the plants that my husband got for me. And super excited because one in particular going to plant up, but it's also a, um, a house plant as well. So when it's at the end of the season, I'm going to dig it up and bring it inside for a little indoor decor so let's go
right, you guys, it's actually been like a week later now. I planted these up and they look so beautiful and it almost kind of has a fall vibe to me, but maybe I'm just saying that because it feels like fall today. It's kind of cloudy, it's cooler, 65 degrees, no humidity, which is fabulous. The humidity has been so high. It's been 85, 90% range humidity kills me so today it feels like just a lovely lovely fall day and some of these planters kind of give me a fall vibe i love it so let me turn you around and kind of show you how it turned out okay this this is how it turned out so you can see that planter there that's the one that i planted up in uh, my video where I dealt with the skunk spraying inside my house. I'll leave that video down below for you to check it out. Um, but the Sologi is finally starting to grow. I have one tall one in back and it's starting to fill in nicely. Jazzy planted this one up. Just some Gerber daisies, some Creeping Jenny, and then um, there's a little succulent arrangement i guess you could say there and then here these two pots are pretty much similar there's just one or two um differences but you guys i am obsessed with this ornamental grass doesn't it look like a corn stalk i love it so in my mind i'm thinking once all of these annuals are done i can rip those out and then put pumpkins my pumpkins that I'm growing, I can kind of put in this container with this corn husk of a grass and it will be perfect for fall. Um, so I put the tags, put the tags here so I can kind of show you. So that grass, it's a Jester ornamental millet, Mijo, Mijo Perla. You guys, you, you know by now I'm horrible at, <laughs> at pronouncing names. So that's the grass there so beautiful and then this Sologia here that is part of the fashion look mix and then these chameleon blueberry scone is that then I have creep goldie creeping Jenny there I have Twister, this corkscrew rush, which is this fabulous looking grass here, corkscrew, corkscrew grass. I have um, Yellow Moon, what is this? Where did I plant this? Oh, here, right there. And then I have Apatina, Ap Aptinia, Aptinia, you guys, I do not know how to say that. And that is this lovely thing here. It's a beautiful kind of succulent and it gets these little flowers on it. Love that. And then I have just some petunias. I have this purple one, pink. And then this is some sort of coleus, if I remember correctly. I didn't have a tag, but it's almost like a, a trailing coleus kind of. It kind of just kind of droops over like that. Very pretty. And pretty much the same thing. A couple of things that I didn't have takes for. I have impatient here, which kind of needs to get deadheaded, but there's an impatient there, I think. And then there's this, what is this? It's very pretty, variegated. I need to find my tags. Here they are. Okay, that is a variegated wow i don't even know how to say that that's what it is right there <laughs> and i think all the tags are the same for everything else but again so beautiful and this one here i just put it in a little pot i love this if i remember it's bridal veil i think yes bridal veil is this beautiful is this beautiful plant with the little tiny flowers. And then this purple plant in the back, this is the one that had the frog on it. That is the variegated, 
secretia, secretia, variegated secretia. I know I said that wrong. Um, but anyways, both of these can be treated as house plants. So I will be bringing those in this fall. And then I just popped some marigolds in there because I was kind of feeling the fall vibes. But that is how it turned out. I love how it turned out. It's not the most common of plants. They're kind of funky plants, but I love it. Like I said, it kind of gives me this fall vibe. Perfect going into fall. I live in a zone three. There's really only five, maybe six weeks left before our first frost. So we're heading into fall quickly, very quickly. So please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want to join the Simply Bloom family. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.